Hello, hello everyone. This is Tenzi with another Diva Transformation. Today, we're going to take this beauty and we're going to be transforming her into a diva. It's springtime, y'all, and I'm so super excited about spring. So as you could tell, spring colors, ooh, they are so vibrant and beautiful. Oh, I'm just so excited about today's tutorial. These are the things that you'll need for today's tutorial. You will need the scissors, some fabric, an image of the diva, some glue sticks and a glue gun, some bling for the jewelry, some pink gravel, which is optional, some flowers, some rubber bands, a placemat, and something round. So the first thing we're going to work on today is our hat. So I have my placemat. And I have an item around my house. This is a, a ball, one of those decorative balls that I've had for many years. Right. And I decided it's an interesting round shape. I wanted to use it for the 3D hat. And it has where I could kind of like manipulate and maneuver it somewhat after it, um, I have the hat on. So when I'm gluing it or even the bottom of it, I'm able to like move it around and it's not necessary to do the hat, but I like the fact that this ball does give me that flexibility. All right. So. The first thing that you're going to do, you're going to take your placemat and you are going to look for the middle or the center of the placemat because we want to make sure that it's over. You see your middle part and when this ball, all we're doing is just securing by using our hands and then I have some rubber bands I have about um, about four rubber bands, and that's because this rubber band, yes, I wanted, I would have loved for it to be a little tighter, because the tighter the rubber band is, is the best it would be for keeping the shape of the hat, but it's not necessarily necessary. If you have several of them, which I have several of them, and I try to get them as close to the color of the the placemat so that you won't see them that much. And so because we're going to be blinging them, you won't see them at all. So this is what I do. I just secure the placemat with one hand. And then with my other hand, I just put the rubber bands over the placemat. And voila, it's done within a few seconds so all i'm doing now is just taking the rubber bands down a little bit because i do want to make sure that it has a nice deep this part of the hat is nice and deep and then the brim of the hat and see what i was talking about being able to manipulate with this ball i can spin it around and while i'm working see we're in the middle the brim of the hat is just the right size for my diva. And then look at the bottom of it. I'm able to still take the glue and I'm going to put some glue around it just to kind of secure it a little bit. But by adding the rubber bands, that helps to also keep the shape of the hat. So I'm just pulling this out just a little bit. That's it. Kind of making sure that the rubber bands are uniformed, right? Because it's all about being professional and looking professional. Although you won't be able to see these rubber bands by the time I'm finished, I just want to know that it's done correctly. And this is what it looks like. And see, I'm able to spin it. Cute, in it? Pink. Springtime flowers and colors. I'm just so excited about spring. All right, so then I am going to 
take my hot glue gun after I've already like placed the rubber bands where I want them to be. Then I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to I'm going to use the glue, the hot glue, which I need to And then I'm just going to reinforce the rubber bands by placing some hot glue in the area where the rubber bands are. And this helps to keep the shape of the hat. We don't need to stuff. We don't need to do anything else other than put in the glue. where the rubber bands are. It adds an extra, um, to keep it in place. So I love that about doing this. We don't need to do a whole lot of extras. Just keeping these rubber bands in place. That's all we're doing. Making sure that we go all the way around And because we're going to be adding flowers on part of the hat, we definitely not it'll be covering the rubber bands. All right, that's it. And then I'm going to flip it over while that part is drying. I'm going to also take a little bit of glue hot glue and I'm going to just go around and that's it it's kind of reinforcing reinforcing where and that's all we're doing You could pull it out a little bit just to make sure that you get the glue down where where the um the rubber bands would have been on the other side and that's it so i flip it back over and i am going to put the um the flowers now i'm going to put flowers on the hat in several places well actually now that i think about it i should put flowers all around let's see how that would look look at that see how much this is just shouting spring look at that so what y'all think should I put flowers all the way around or should I leave it with just three and then bling the rest of it? Let's see. I'm going to use these three flowers and then bling the rest of the hat. How about that? All right. So I've decided where I want my flowers. And all I'm going to do is put a little bit more glue and then put my flower just apply a little pressure and voila that's done then the next one do the same thing put a little bit of glue and then voila that's done apply a little pressure and that's that's that It's not going to go anywhere. Just a little bit more glue just to make sure. And then the last flower, I'm also going to do the same thing that I did with the last ones. And voila, a little bit of glue. Put some glue to the top. 
to make sure that the flower stays in place apply a little pressure and we are done with this part now i do have this bling that just to cover up the last part of the the rubber bands and this is why it's like important for you to get the rubber bands that's close enough to the color of the placemat because here we have can you see the rubber bands you can see them just a little bit but they blend in so well with the color of the hat all right so i'm just going to put just making sure that we cover the rubber band And here we have it. And then we just cut off the excess. Ooh, I like the way how this looks. Okay, so we're just cutting the excess. And I'm just going to put this back on to use for another time. And here it is, our rubber bands are covered. And I'm going to let you see what it looks like. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? I like it. All right, tell me what you think in the comments. Do you like this spring look? All right, so now we should be able to take our hat off of the stand. And we just want to make sure everything is glued and sticked before, because like I mentioned before, that you want to make sure everything is done before you take it off the stand. Because once you take it off, it's kind of hard to, difficult to put it back on. So you want to make sure that everything is done before you take it off. And so what you see me doing here, I'm just, taken off unlike the other things that i've used it looks like this might give me just a little tiny problem to take off but let's see how it works it shouldn't actually just loosen up the glue just a little bit see like how i'm doing it let's loosen the glue up and it should be easy to come come off just like what i'm doing now so just take your time and any excess glue we could take after. So all I'm doing is just pulling, pulling it down, and that's it. This is what helps to keep the shape. So then I'm ready to pull the rest of it off. And voila, the shape is there. It's done. Look at that. Let me just take the excess. Look at that. It's done. Look. And that's what it looks like. So now we'll be able to glow a diva. It keeps its shape. And that's it. What I do when you see it looks like this. Just a little bit. I just do some reinforcement on the the bottom side but i think this is this is fine it's perfect and it keeps its shape i could touch it and i knock it in <laughs> and this is what it looks like all right So in the middle of doing the video, I had this bright idea. What if I use some extensions 
and change things up just a little bit. What do y'all think? A yay or a nay? I think I'm going to go with it. I might let them be a little bit longer. Not much, but I'm liking this look. So I decided that I am going to add the extensions. And before I do the clothing, I am going to do her extensions. But instead of it being this short, I'm just going to let it. This is what the extension look like. It's the curly. And it, this was used for crochet. And so you have that little, um, like a little knot to the top. And this is the length of it. And you get like two of them. They come in twos. But what I'm going to do is to give it the fullness on the diva, I'm just going to actually, not in half, but maybe like about... I would say about this long because I wanted to have some length, just not too much. I don't want it to be all the way down her shoulders or anything, but just enough that when the hat goes on, you could actually see it. So I'm not even sure how much this is, but I'm thinking like maybe about five inches or so. So because we have a hat, we don't have to... um use a lot this is a new pack of extensions um and i don't need to use the whole pack for it so i'm just going to use just a few to give it the fullness that i need um under the hat now i, I have no intentions of putting extensions today i went ahead and i glittered the um head wrap piece of the head wrap so that it matches with her 3d hat but we don't need this anymore. I am going to put the extensions on this. And so it should just take us a few more minutes to do this. Now, when I put the extensions, I try to have everything neat. But because I'm going to be using like the two, it breaks into two or divides into two. I am just going to to give it the fullness that I want, I'm, I'm going to cut this part, cut this part off, and then glue it. And since the hat is going to be covering this, it would be no worries. Just make sure that... Um, that is to the length that you want it to be. That's the only thing. And make sure that it sticks. Those are the only things to worry about. Remember, give it a couple seconds and then apply some pressure. And that way you won't see a lot of glue marks. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and cut these because this will save us some time. So I'm cutting these and then I'll be right back. All right. I'm sorry, y'all, but um, I thought my video was on at the time when I was gluing in the extensions, but I'll just let you see what they look like. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't on. But this is what she looks like with the extensions. And so now what I'm going to do is I am going to add her, the fabric to her, of her, her the image, and then I am going to um, glue everything on to the canvas board. That's one of the things that I didn't mention in the beginning is to have your canvas board or canvas panel. In this case, I do have a canvas panel that I am going to be using. And so um, that's what we're working with today. And as you can see, her hair, she has that curly twist. And I'm loving the look. And so when we put the hat, when we put the hat on, 
it would cover the top piece of the head wrap and then you'll be able to see her hairstyle. So by the time we finish gluing everything down, she looked totally different. And of course we have the fabric that we are going to be using as her outfit today. So let's do the clothing first and then we're going to work on the hat placement. So I have um, kind of pre-cut the fabric that I have because I wanted it to show like the pink, this pink color. And so we could um, kind of match up with her, her hat. And so I am going to just, she's going to have one of those like a uh, color dress type thing, but you're going to see more of her, um, the color than the dress, of course, because of her being a canvas diva. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this piece down. I'm going to glue this piece down and then we'll work on what we'll do with this little piece section. If we're going to give her some buttons or something else that um, would match this, this fabric. Okay, so silly me, and this is where she'll be on the um on the the board the the panel canvas panel. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue her down to the um while I'm doing this. Just to kind of glue her down so that I'll know exactly where. Okay, so now we're good. And then we could just keep gluing the rest of the fabric. Just applying a little bit of pressure. So this is what we're doing. So the bottom piece. Okay, so I'm thinking that maybe I could cut this piece or fold it under, cut it a little, a little bit, and then fold it under. So it give more of like the colored look, but you could see the pink, the different shades of pink in this. Oh, I see some green too. Hmm. Well. I kind of had this folded into like a rose. Let me see if I could get it done and do again. Well, I had it like a rose. She had like a a rose design on her. Her outfit and then I could maybe put like a big um, a brooch or something. See if I could get it done. I did have it in the last segment. Something like a a rose kind of formation in this area and then we could we could use a brooch i'll have to get one of my brooches so something like this we could finish that up after but 
So her outfit is done. Let's go ahead and glue her the rest of her to the canvas. I'm just going to do up on this side because nobody will have to see and up up here in this area and then just gently and then in this area So she's glued down on that side. And then we're just going to work on this side. And then lastly, I don't think we have to glue back down her hair because I want that to pretty much be move movable. So I'm not going to glue down like the bottom piece, but I am going to glue right in the section so that the hair wouldn't be moving. Because this was the part that had the glitter. So I don't need anybody to see this part. So that's why I'm gluing down this section. And voila. That's it for that. Everything else is glued. Yep. Everything else is glued. So now all we have to do is the hat placement so we'll play with that for a bit i on our head and it will be just right on the canvas and so kind of mapping it out so that you could see what she looks like with her hat we're going to put the flowers to the front and then I am going to glue this area here because this is where the um, the hair and the glitter part meets. So I don't need that to be showing. So we'll start by glittering. I mean gluing, sorry. In this area where the flower is. And then also her um, her head wrap. So we're just making sure, I like to map things out before gluing, just so that I'll know exactly where things will be. So do you see her with her outfit? I love this pink and white, it's just like, and her hair now, I think, just adds a little oomph to the whole ensemble with her outfit and her hat. So let me switch, turn this around. I am going to start here because I don't need this head wrap to be shown. So I'm just going to put some glue in this area. Remember this glue is really hot. So I give it a few seconds and then I am going to kind of make sure that it it stays. Oh, I forgot all about her jewelry. Oh, ever so often I have to clean my hands because 
I don't like the glue to be all over stuff. So I'm just going to turn it some more, making sure that this area is all the way glued to the canvas and the image. Turn around some more. And this is all I'm doing, just going around and making sure that it's glued on the canvas panel. Keep going around. Making sure that all of it is glued. I think this will be a good style for us to be able to see her eyes. Just going to fix a little bit more. Here we have, you're able to see her eyes. And here she is. Ain't she beautiful? Okay, uh, making sure that all the hair sticks. As you can see that little, that's what we need to make sure that it sticks. And so now I'm just going to go back over and make sure that everything sticks. All the hair, all the extensions, everything is it sticks to the and clean up anything that needs to be cleaned. Now, um, her jewelry. I'm going to finish up this area with her outfit, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to take the gravel and just make that border. But before we do that, let me see if I could fix this a little bit better. Because she's giving me like church diva vibes. And then she's also giving me summer, spring, spring, summer vibes. What y'all think? Just move all the glue that may have. What y'all think? What kind of vibe is she giving y'all? Church diva, um, maybe a, a afternoon affair, spring affair. I'm I'm thinking, are these should I leave these gold earrings or should I do like something a little bit more blingy? What y'all think? Help me out. I like the way how the hat is. You can actually um, see her face. And so um, let's do this. So I have decided that I'm not going to use the pink gravel for this piece because it's already a lot going on in terms of the pink and so i just want to leave it like this until i could figure out what type of border i am going to use so this is what she looks like and until i find the border that will make this pop some i would leave her the way she is because I don't want to overdo it with the pinks. So until next time, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Also turn your notification bell on and share, share, share my videos. And I will see you on the next tutorial. Happy crafting.